What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have another unboxing. So today we're going to be unboxing the parent front strut tower brace for the WRX and the STI. And I actually recently found out that this part does fit the Forester XT, so we're going to give it a shot. And we're definitely going to try and keep this one short and sweet today, so I'm just going to unbox it for you guys and we'll throw it out on the car. And for those of you who want the part number, it's right there. All right, so here's an up-close look at the strut tower bar. So the part number that I showed you guys before, it ends in RD right over here. So that just means that it's red. It does come in other colors as well. There's black, there's uh, lime green. I think they're also coming out with like a teal one. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. So first thing we're going to start off with is a 12 millimeter socket. We have our ratchet right over here, and we also have this little uh, angle adapter. Now these bolts, as of lately, have been looking pretty nasty. So if anybody in the comments knows the uh, the thread pitch of these, I would greatly appreciate it because I'd like to replace them because mine are getting a little bit chewed up over here. So with my setup here, it might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get it in there. Uh, the intercooler kind of rises up a little bit high, so it's kind of making contact there. So we're gonna try and muscle it in there a little bit. And one thing that I forgot, it only takes uh, two of the uh, the holes over here to go into it. It doesn't actually take three like the Cusco one, so we didn't even need to loosen up that third one. You know what, one thing that I'm noticing is that Heron has a bunch of Allen key holes over here, so maybe I'm supposed to loosen those up and it might make my job a little bit easier. Yeah, you know what? It really helps to read the direction sometimes. Stupid! Alright, so now with the proper approach, we're taking our 4mm Allen key. We're going to go ahead and loosen all these up. Alright, so those pieces just slid right out, so we can go ahead and mount these on the car first. Alright, so we actually had to switch out to a thinner 12 millimeter. so good thing I just bought this set so we can get this in the hole because the other one was a little bit too fat. The opening over here on the parent part is pretty small, so you're definitely going to need a thinner, longer 12 millimeter. Alright, so by far the easiest way to do this is removing all of these Allen keys right over here. These Allen key screws, we take them out, it exposes this little uh, opening right over here, so it's like two pieces. You sit the bar right into it, and then you tighten these down. So I started with the driver's side, made my way to the passenger side. One thing I have to warn you guys about is that this bar is not big intercooler friendly. So it does make a little bit of contact with the intercooler. We're gonna find a solution for that. We'll probably just put some like felt tape at the top of that or something. Uh, I don't know actually if the other piece of the Mishimoto uh, air box or like the duct is gonna fit now because it's like pretty much touching it there. Like there's like almost no space. Um, and it does also on this side, it does kind of touch the uh, the firewall a little bit, so hopefully we don't get too much rattling or any rattling at all. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and tighten this all down, see how well it fits, see if we have any more fitment issues, and I'll keep you guys posted in just a second. So everything is torqued down now, and surely enough, uh, as soon as I started torquing everything down, the bar kind of just fell right into place right behind the intercooler. So it's like basically like right on it. There might be a tiny bit of a gap, but it did kind of snap into place, so that's good. So it actually does clear a bigger intercooler so uh, I'm gonna see if like it rattles at all or anything and we're also gonna see if the ducting on the Mishimoto intercooler is gonna go back on now come on moment of truth Let's see right there yeah I think it does it actually doesn't go all the way back so let's go ahead and grab our Phillips head and we'll tighten these down too all right there it is everything's fitting perfectly I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks great. Uh, definitely going to help with the handling a little bit. I did notice a bit a bit of a difference in some hard cornering as soon as I did take off the uh, the Cusco strut bar. Now they say that like these don't provide too much rigidity. I mean, they provide rigidity, but you won't really feel them unless you are engaging in some sort of like uh, you know hard driving. So I did notice it a little bit when I was taking some turns. So. Hopefully now we will kind of reestablish that same uh, stability in the corners and we'll see how it feels. So let me give you guys some glamour shots.